How you guys doing? Prodigal Lion here. Welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 how-to video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make upgrades to your camp. You can make quite a few different upgrades to your camp, and I'm going to go ahead and show you some of them. Right here, this is Arthur's little tent area. I have his area upgraded to the max. This is Dutch's tent, which I have also upgraded as much as possible. All the other lodging around the camp is upgraded all the way. All over here is the entire horse stable area that I've put into the camp. Right here is the chicken coop, which I don't know where the chickens are. Holy crap. Right here is kind of the medic area, I guess you could say, with all kinds of assortments of um, health, bar, razor, miracle, magic, potion things. I don't know, but they're all here. And there's still plenty of other things you can also upgrade to the camp. Oh yeah, I got the little camp boat over yonder that I went ahead and put in here also. But that's all done through right here, through the donation box and the ledger right here. Now the ledger, I guess in a way, is kind of the catalog in a way, where you basically can shop for what you can add to the camp. But in order to be able to buy anything from the ledger, you have to have plenty of money within the camp funds, which is all goes into this box. Now if you take a look at the ledger, everybody within the camp pretty much contributes without really knowing. Like you can see Sean, Susan, Charles, mostly Arthur because I'm a freaking gangster who donates all my hard earned money. But this is pretty much where you can see all the donations and in the bottom right total camp funds is 98.67. So like I said, if you do want to shop for some items, all the items are going to be here. Like I said, I have my camp pretty much maxed out and what I can do with it. But this is where you'll shop. There's provisions, medicine. Next page is ammunition and arms and lodging. Lodging right there is how you're going to update like Arthur's can uh, area, Dutch's area, and etc. But even once you upgrade all the way in the very bottom, you can see I can restock all this stuff. But even once you have all the items in the ledger bought, you can still customize the camp in various ways right here at the butcher table, I guess you could say. You can see in the bottom right, it says crafting upgrades. So I'm going to go ahead and hold triangle. And then you can see I have plenty of options here of what to do with the campfires, wagon tables, lodging, satchel. This is how you can upgrade Arthur's satchel if you wanted to change it from being just a basic thing. I could, You can could upgrade Arthur's lodging right here with some skulls, like a chest or a bear skin covered table, a rug on the floor. You can add pelts and uh, skulls around the the campfire as you can see like there's a banjo with a snake skin some fur on a seat cover more seat cover hide ground cover so like i said that's kind of another little way you can upgrade the uh or not really upgrade but kind of customize the camp in some ways but you do need to go hunting for a lot of different animals it shows you the requirements like for the hide rug it'll show you you need two perfect oxide for the skin bear skin table you need a one perfect bear pelt so It'll just show you exactly what you need in order to be able to make any of these things happen. So there you guys have it. That's pretty much how you can upgrade and customize your lodging and your camp. Um, there's not really a whole, whole, whole lot you can do. Like, there's a decent amount, but obviously it's not crazy customizable. You can just change everything, but that's pretty much what you can do. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. I make all kinds of Red Dead Redemption 2 content, including how-to videos. I'm also going to be leaning more towards some entertaining videos in the near future, so stick around for that. Like I said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.